Hello and welcome to part 10 of the Save Sci-Fi Let's Play of Star Trek Legacy. Um, I just finished playing this and realised the video had been corrupted for the second time playing this level. So, back to the start I go, yay! In this level we finally managed to pin down that fracking Vulcan witch. And, yeah. Atlas Log, Stardate 7492.1. We've arrived at the outskirts of the system where the Cataract Research Station is located. Not sure what to expect after encountering Terrell's alterations to our outer defense post. My instincts tell me to be cautious. Our most recent intelligence places Terrell at the research station itself. Finally, to have her within our reach. With all the havoc she has wrought upon the Federation, one can only wonder what happened to her Vulcan senses. Starfleet Command is most insistent that Dr. Cataract and his research be saved. If I didn't know better, I'd almost say they place his well-being above that of his fellow researchers. In any case, I fully intend to take back what she has stolen. Whatever it takes to bring her destructive tendencies to an end, I'm prepared to do. Admiral Kirk, this is Captain Somerset. We're approaching the target area. Scans confirm the presence of the Salea near the station. My battle group is moving to intercept. We're right behind you, Somerset. Hold on. Admiral, something is wrong. Our shields are losing power fast. We've lost partial coverage. Correction, we've lost all shield power. Where the hell did those two warp come from? Secondary hull rupture. Decompression on multiple decks. We're losing her. Somerset, come in. Sensor scan now. I want to know what the hell happened. Kirk to fleet. Our sensors are detecting several objects out Space there. Space guys! They seem to be emitting some kind of dampening field. As Captain Somerset's telemetry indicates, they appear to have a profound effect on our ship's systems. They drain energy from local space and translate that into power for the Cataract Defense Grid. Our tactical analysis indicates the dampeners are constructed of solid neutronium. Phasers and photons will have little effect against them. My science officer has found the subspace carrier wave amplitude these devices are using to transfer power back to the defense grid. We're going to attempt to send a feedback pulse on that carrier wave in an effort to overload the dampener. If we actively scan the device, we can match the carrier wave. If we're going to even get close to that station, We'll have to disable these dampeners. Kirk out. Uh, disable the dampeners. This is Enterprise. Take on this battle group in the middle of nowhere. Indeed. Sir, we're dropping out of warp. Captain, cling on vessels. Proceeding to war. On our way. Engaging target. Moving to attack position. Captain, enemy shields are down. Captain, send us report enemy engine to the Moving to attack position. Click on enemy shields. Engaging target. Engaging target. Gotta get those briefs in the prop. Freaking powerful. Target shields down. Setting course now. This is Enterprise. Course set, Captain. Course laid in. That's why I told Enterprise to go to the right thing. Course laid in. Excelsior standing by. 
Philadelphia, standing by. Proceeding to warp. Shields are failing. We can't maintain power. That dampener is neutralizing our defenses. Let's take that thing offline. Initiate scan. Shields are coming back online. Though our sensors show the dampening field is down here, the cataract defense grid is still operational. Our analysis also indicates that the feedback pulse we generated will dissipate in about eight minutes. After that, this dampener will reactivate. We'll have to move fast to overload the other dampeners before the pulse wears off and deactivate the defense grid in the process. Shields back. Cling on, destroy. Okay. We got over here again, Sean. Philadelphia, standing by. This is Enterprise. Proceeding to war. Units standing by. Philadelphia, standing by. Setting course now. Setting course now. the target. Think you can slip past me that easily, Indeed. huh? Punk? Course laid in. This is Enterprise. to your coordinates. Enemy vessel detected. Get 
Converting power to shield, Captain. Goodbye. Four of them are destroyed. Proceeding to war. Okay. Philadelphia to fleet. Awaiting orders. Nimitz standing by. Excelsior standing by. Philadelphia standing by. Philadelphia, standing by. Warping to your coordinates. Enterprise. Heading set. Klingon vessels on approach. On our way. Four thousand, three thousand, eight. Come on. Target destroyed. Scanning. Excelsior standing by. Philadelphia standing by. Engaging target. Going on target destroyed. Mission extended. dampeners have been overloaded and their subspace linked to the defense grid has been severed the station's defensive network has been neutralized set course for the cataract research station but stay tight and close what in the name of ah the legendary admiral james kirk history seems to note you a special chapter it would be a pity to end it so prematurely. Withdraw your forces, and you may leave unharmed. What about the countless men and women who have died up to this point, trying to stop you from spreading your chaos over the whole of the quadrant? Ending of life is regrettable, but sometimes necessary on the road to perfection. I am on a higher path, one that will eventually bring us all into a state of peace and logic. I've heard this all before, Terrell. The road to hell, as they say, is paved with good intentions. But you're just a Vulcan whose delusions afford you the luxury of rationalizing murder. And I intend to stop you, right here, right now. Stand down, or we will destroy you. I believe you are mistaken. Omega now belongs to me, and you will witness the nature of its power. Goodbye, Admiral. I am most curious to see how your death will affect events yet to come. She's escaped. Enterprise to fleet. Weapons free. Concentrate your fire on that large vessel. Sensors are detecting smaller spheres linked to the larger one. They appear to have no offensive capabilities, but are working to augment the mothership's systems. Objective achieved. Noted in the law. Four vessels on a... Every scratch we put on that ship seems to be repaired within moments. At this rate, we'll never bring her down. My science officer believes he has identified the smaller sphere working to regenerate the larger ship's hull. All vessels target and destroy it. Wow, this is lagging the buggery. Thanks. That seems to have nullified the sphere's ability to regenerate. Target. Move Moving to attack position. Weapons, That's it. Her engine output is falling to normal sublight levels. Moving into attack position. Boxer in. Smaller sphere has reduced the mothership's weapons capabilities significantly. We should have easier time now. Hit it with everything we got, boys. 
Fire everything. Photon. Oh, you want? Sensors show a resonance cascade in that ship's power core. That energy reading is massive. What in blazes could they have been using to power that thing? All ships, get out of here. Maximum warp. That ship is going critical. Admiral's personal log supplemental. I failed. It was my charge to apprehend this woman who has been a destructive blight upon the Federation for the last hundred years. Torrell has been with us since the founding of the Federation, and there's no telling how much longer she'll be out here. Her purpose unknown, and her power quite formidable. I fear for what she could do, given time. I've submitted my official report to Starfleet concerning the Keteract incident. After learning of his Omega Particle research, I suggested that the details be sealed, and steps taken to assure this never happens again. Aside from the destructive power of a single molecule of Omega, it has destroyed subspace through a three-light-year radius around the Lantaru sector. With such potentially destructive power at Terrell's fingertips, I feel extremely uneasy. Starfleet has assigned a commission to develop an Omega directive concerning this eyes-only matter. Sometimes the arrogance of man is what gets us into so much trouble. Hopefully, the next generation will be better. That's part 10 done. I shall catch you guys next time.